Hey, this is Colby from Legend. Today we're gonna to be installing the Upstep RS3 on a Ford Transit. So in front of me, we have the bracket kit for the Ford Transit. The Upstep itself is a separate part number, must be ordered separately. We also have kits for the Mercedes Sprinter and the Ram Promaster. So included in the Transit kit, we have the brackets themselves. You'll need tape for the install. This is the door bracket. This is the link bar. All of our hardware here, you'll want a Sharpie marker, as well as it comes with an included paint pen for coloring in the holes so they don't rust. You'll need Allen keys. You'll need drivers for some taps, a 10 mil and a 12 mil tap. You'll need a quarter inch drill bit, a half inch wrench, some socket extensions, and a basic socket kit. Okay, so that's the front bracket. Front outside bracket, this is the front inside bracket. So the uh, outside brackets both go inside of these C-frame brackets on the step. So you don't want it like that, you want it like this. You wanna just bolt them loosely so you have some adjustment when you're lifting it up under the van. So now the front inside bracket, this piece here goes on the outside of the frame. You don't want to tighten them all the way. You want to leave them just a little bit loose so you have a, some adjustment. Now we can move on to the rear brackets. We have the rear inside and the rear outside. So once again, you want the outside bracket on this side of the, the inside of the frame. You don't want it like this, you want it like this, just like the front. and then the rear inside bracket, once again, on the outside. So not like this, you want it on the outside. step we have some inserts on the frame that we need to thread that our step mounts to. If we come to the front of the van first these are the factory studs that we'll be mounting our step to. So in reference to these studs if you come straight up straight out to the frame rail here you'll be roughly in line with this oval hole. So if you want to just come forward a couple inches in the van to the hole that we're going to thread. So you'll see just as another reference it'll be in between these two oval holes. So this is our M12 threaded hole so it's you'll need an m12 1.75 tap and then if we come to the back our other threaded hole is roughly in line with these factory studs so these are the studs that the back of our step will mount to you basically come straight across up underneath this exhaust shielding here you'll see this circled hole so that is the hole that we are going to thread on the back so it's an m10 1.5 thread and you can see it's kind of standing on its own there in the frame, pretty easy to find. So you always need to use some sort of cutting oil when you're tapping a hole in the frame. So this is threading the M12. You always want to make sure to keep your tap as straight as possible so you don't break it inside the insert. So you'll need to bend the guard back here on the exhaust to get up into this 
area to tap. Once again, this is our M10 1.5. This is where the long extension will come into play. And then the next step, we will bring the up step in here with the brackets and hang it in place. So you'll need your four M8 nuts with washers. We're gonna start by hanging the outside of the step on our four OEM studs here. Hang it on these studs, make sure you throw the washer on first. And then we'll loosely put our M8 nuts on. So now we're gonna take our M12 and our M10 bolts. You'll need a normal washer and a lock washer to keep these up in the frame. So this is our M12 at the front. We want to make sure we get this into our threaded hole. Then same thing for the back, lock washer and a normal washer for the M10. So now you want to tighten everything up before we lower the van down and do our door bracket. Once everything's tight and you've double checked everything, we can lower it to do our door connection. So this is the link bar that we're installing next. It's what attaches the step to the door. So there's a bit of pre-assembly we want to do here. So you'll have two of these plastic bushings. So your link bar is gonna go this way in regards to the van. You wanna make sure your ear is pointed out. You also wanna make sure your flat side is up. The other side is has like a embedded part around the hole. You wanna make sure this side's up. Also your plastic bushing. You wanna make sure the big side is inside your recess. So it's pretty simple. They're separated right here. Pop them in. just like that. So you'll see when you have it in the right orientation, you should see your plastic bushing just sticking out there. And then your big shoulder is inside the recess. Basically, you wanna be able to have your bushing here, zinc covered bushing, fit flat on the bottom. So this will be like that on the van. So if you just fit both bushings into the link bar, makes assembly on the ground go a lot quicker. There you go. So now we can go ahead and mount this door bracket. So we'll need tape, a marker, and a quarter inch drill bit with a drill. So we're gonna put tape on the corner of our door just so we can mock fit the door bracket without scratching the paint. We can also mark our permanent marker holes on this tape as well without drawing on the vehicle. The other thing this tape will do is protect the paint around where we're drilling so that we don't scratch it with the drill shavings. So now we want our door bracket, we want to mark our holes 
with the permanent marker for drilling. Now, as you can see here on the door, it has a natural crease right there. So this is gonna match up to our door bracket. So where we're aiming for our door bracket is we want our crease to be lined up. And we also want to be an eighth of an inch to three sixteenths of an inch off the front of the door to the front of our bracket. So once I'm happy with where it is, I'll just mark the holes quickly. So if you slide the bracket up and down slowly, you will feel where that crease feels most at home. We can drill our holes now. So now we're gonna drill the holes. So you'll need drill with a quarter inch bit. It's nice to have a countersink as well, just to take the burr off the outside of the hole. And then paint pen, just to touch up the raw metal so it doesn't rust. This paint will stop it from rusting long term. So obviously, since we've drilled, this is raw metal. Now we can peel the tape off and go ahead and install our door bracket. So now you want these button head bolts here. You need three of them. You want these little washers for the back and then the nylock nut for the back as well. So a washer on the back and the nut. So this is a 10 mil socket and a uh, Five thirty seconds Allen key. Just tighten up the door bracket here. Beauty. So these are our two zinc coated bushings. We have these two taper headed bolts and the nuts for them as well. And then we can actually do this up on the bench, but this is a little stop for, just to stop the step from overextending itself. So it's easier to do up on the bench here. Okay. Now we can go attach our link bar. So you need these two pieces, these two bolts, and the link bar itself. So the easiest way to get the inside of your link bar on is just to open the step up a little bit. You'll see our actuator bar in there moving. So about there is where it's most clear. So I'll take take the um, bushing here, put our tape red bolts in it, put it through the bottom of our link bar, like that, and then put it through our actuator there, just like that, and put a nut on top. There we go. So another way to check that your bushings are all installed correctly is even with that bolt tightened all the way up, your link bar should move really freely. So now we'll move on to the door side. So once again, put your tapered bolt through the bushing like that. Have your nut ready through the bottom of the link bar. Just like that. finished. And there you go. Your upset RS3 successfully installed 
on a Ford Transit. So that was a detailed overview of an Upstep RS3 installation on a Ford Transit. Make sure to check out our website for more information, legendsoftheroad.com. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> you good?